everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today I have an estate sale haul for you. I went to one last weekend and it was 65% off. It was like a three-family estate sale. It was in a big building on like a campsite and it was just really fun to go to and I really enjoyed going and I got quite a bit of stuff. I will say that... Um, I don't, some of it doesn't have the prices on it, so I'm going to use, I'm going to try to remember the best that I can, but some, some of them they took the tags off for some reason. Also, I hope everybody is staying safe and warm. I know it's been cold in a lot of parts of the, a lot of the U.S., and I just hope everybody's staying warm and safe. It has been cold here in Kansas. We, yesterday, it's mostly the wind chill that's making it super cold. I mean, it's super cold without it but um yesterday with the wind chill the feel like degrees at one point was like negative 27 degrees which is pretty cold for kansas even in the winter um and today though it was the wind chill was or the wind wasn't isn't blowing very much and we're in the single digits so that's nice i guess it's still cold but it's nice to be out of the negatives uh, hopefully it'll just continue getting warm for everybody and we can get through this winter um, phase <laughs> that we are having in February. So hopefully you guys are staying good and warm and safe. Anyways, let's get into the haul and yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I got this spoon rest. It has a pretty little bird on it. It doesn't have a maker's mark, but it does have the name of the artist down there so I will look that up and I'm pretty sure I paid less than a dollar for this sorry if you hear water running I'm doing laundry and the laundry room's right here so above me so that's what you hear that's why if you hear water that's why so the next things I'm going to show you are some Fontanini um, figurines these are plastic usually these are from the night late early to late 90s the ones I'm going to show you today, they have older ones of course, but the ones I'm showing you today are from that time period. These were originally $6, so a little bit less than half of that is what I paid. If I tell you a price, that's basically, that's what I paid, less than half of that price. Um, so I will try to tell you how much I paid when I can. This is just a, like a guy playing the bagpipes. I got this lady with a basket. Also Fontanini. This one's cute. I got a lady with a basket and a lamb. Look at that. Adorable. And this was less than $3 after the discount. Um, they did have some for like $9, but that was just a little too much. Like half of that was just a little too much for me or 65% off. I did get this donkey. Now this I'm not sure is Fontanini. It has all the markings like it, but it does have a different name of the sculpture on it. So I will have to do some research on this to see if this is or not. But it was less than $1.50, and then this white guy too is less than $1.50, and he's a little goat. He is marked Italy, and I believe he has the Fontanini mark on him, but I'm just not 100% sure. Because some of the times they have little marks on them too. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he does. But the donkey, I'm just I'm just not sure. I'll just have to look them up. Okay, I got some little cocktail forks. Today I'm gonna be kind of bending down because I have too much stuff for my table. So I have these plastic coats I'm putting stuff in as I get done. Whoops! a big mess over there um, as I get done um, showing you guys the items. So I got some cocktail forks. These were less than a dollar or less than 50 cents. I did good with like the corn holders or cob holders um, that are like have the wooden mid-century modern type design on them. So I thought I'd give these a go. I got more Tupperware because I just can't help it. These are the measuring set. This is a measuring set. They're less than 50 cents. They are all there except the rings missing, but I might have a ring, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I actually have sold the rings 
without the measuring set, so I might have sold all the rings I have because <laughs> they will sell. They sell for like six bucks, five to six bucks, so just the little rings. But I'll check. I got an ice cream or a shortening scoop. I love these things. I have one. This one looks like it's in better shape than the one I have. I might be keeping this one or not, but I have sold these for about nine bucks and I'm pretty sure it was less than 50 cents, so I grabbed it. These are really nice to have, I think. I got this like bar spoon. It has a bottle opener on the top of it. I don't know if you guys see that. See, it's a bottle opener. It says it right there too. And it says on it, Hotel Jayhawk, one of Kansas finest Topeka. And I kind of like local stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It was, I think it was less than 50 cents. So it wasn't very much. I did get this spatula, it had fell. Um, this is actually for me, I'm keeping this. This is a Foley spatula, it's so little, and I loved it. So I thought I would get it. I really like metal cookware, and I've been starting to switch all my spatulas and stuff to metal cookware, or utensils, so, at least most of them. This does have some rust on it, so I'll have to clean it up, but it was a good little find for less than a dollar. So I got this resin in flour, and I really want to keep this. I paid less than $1.50 for it, and I might keep it, but I don't need it. I do have like a little collection of resin things. Like I have a, um, a spider in resin, uh, a butterfly in resin that I've had since I was a child. And I, then I have like some kitchen stuff in resin, like... Um, Kind of like hot pat, not hot trivets that you put your pans on and like spoon rests, those kind of things. So I don't know, this one's really pretty though. And I kind of want to keep it, but I don't need it. So I'll probably get rid of it. Next thing I have that's in resin, another resin piece. This was less than 50 cents. It's like, it's a saying. It says, life is like an onion. You peel off one layer at a time and sometimes you eat. And it's just to enter resin. I don't know if this was like a homemade piece or a company actually made it. It does have the company on the back of the card, so I'll look it up to see if this was something they actually made. It does have some chipping on it though. Sometimes you get that with resin items. Okay, let's move on to dolls. Little dolls. I found some little dolls. So I have these, I think they're Hallmark. They're older. Yes, made in toy on Hallmark, non-washable. This one's a Mark Twain. It's pretty cool. These were less than a dollar each. I had to get them. I bet this one is no, this is Molly Pitcher. She has an American flag, also Hallmark. She's really cool. And who's this dude? This is Barn PT Barnroom. That's cool. Also Hallmark. And then I also got these little pig um, dolls. I'm trying to see what they are, then I'll show you. They are not that old, made in China. Um, they don't have a name on them. Oh, here we go, Wings International. No clue. I got two of them though. I probably will want them together. It's like a little boy and a girl. And they're really cute. People that like pigs like this. Probably would like this kind of stuff. So I grabbed them. They were less than 25 cents each. You know, they both have kind of Americana type um, vibes to them with the red, white, and blue stripes and stuff. So bought these. And then I did get some paper dolls. Um... Just these little Dover activity book paper dolls. So we got the little Irish girl paper doll. And they look like, I'm not really sure how to use. I think you have to cut them all out, yeah. So what you do is you have these little outfits and you cut these out. See how they're not printed on both sides. So you cut those all out. 
tons of different outfits, and then the back is harder, like cardstock, and you cut the doll out. So I got these for less than 50 cents each. Victorian girl, pilgrim girl. I just thought they were cool. And Dorothy of Oz. That one's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, it's Coco and Eureka. So, princess. Let's see. The Dorothy one. That's cool. So, these were like 92 is what it looks like. 1992. So a little older. And then I got Old Fashioned Kitty Cucumber. I've been keeping my eyes out for Kitty Cucumber. They had this whole thing of cats. That looked like Kitty Cucumber, but it was Kitty Calico, I think. And they aren't worth that as much, so I didn't get those. But they did have a little bit of Kitty Cucumber. Oh my goodness, Paper Doll. So that will be fun. There she is. And then you have... Try not to drop anything. Like, outfits for her. Or him. Um, so yeah, this was less than 50 cents. What would it have been, like... 35 cents. So I grabbed that. And these were from 83. Because Kitty Cucumber is quite collectible. Some other stuff's not worth a lot though. So you just kind of have to be... You just kind of have to... Either not pay very much for them or know what's worth what. Trying to get everything back in. There we go. That was harder than it needed to be. So got that paper doll. Um, let's just keep going with the paper dolls. I got these ginghams. I don't know if that's how you say that. Paper dolls, there were 80 or 70 cents each because they're originally two dollars. And they're not, this one's not punched out at least. Punched out, I didn't even look at these, I just like put them in the bag or in the box. Should have probably looked at these, so but I didn't, so you know, it is what it is. But yeah, they're not used, it looks like. I'm not sure if these are worth anything, but I figured for how cheap they were, less than a dollar, I would give it a go. They're cute. Okay, what next can I show? Let's show these salt and pepper shakers. I love these. This one has stuff in it, so. They're little houses. They are Otagari. And they're in really good shape. It's like a little cottage and a little bit bigger house salt and pepper shaker. I paid, they're originally $7, so whatever that is, um, less than $3.50 each for them. And Japan, they're a little bit older, Otagari pieces, I believe. Um, so that was a good find. So I'm not a huge fan of bird items. I don't pick them up a whole bunch, but sometimes I find ones that I like and I'll pick it up. This is like a woodpecker, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know how much this cost. I probably would not have paid over three bucks for it. But it's really well, I just liked it. I just liked the colors and how it was painted and sculpted or molded or whatever. It is ceramic. It has a hair on it. Gross. Um, but I just liked it. Look at its claws. Yeah. So... Hopefully it'll be good. It does have, it says, made in Portugal, and it has a number on it. So I don't know who it's made by, but it's made in Portugal. I did get this Toby mug, or not mug, pitcher. Um, I think this was $3.50. It's really in good shape. Most of the stuff there was in pretty good shape, actually. And it is, it is actual, it does say Toby on the bottom. Um... Woodinson's, I think, by, does it say Viking? No. I don't know. Whoever makes them, it stamps on the bottom. Um, 
And like I said, it does have some crazy, but overall it's in really good shape. And heavy. Pretty heavy for how little it is. So I did buy some more Occupied Japan pieces because I can't help that. I love them. <laughs> I like buying them. I don't know why. I just do. Um, and then I just also bought some Japan pieces. So this is just a regular Japan, but the colors are beautiful on this, I thought like that green, she's on the chair, there's the stamp, and they're all $2, so whatever, you know, that would have been, what, 70 cents, 65% off, um, so yeah, of course I got it, this is Occupied Japan, they were trying to sell, whoever had this before was trying to sell it for $28, yikes, this used to be more popular, $2, um, this does have a rag all too, I'm not sure what that is, it's probably part of the mold broke off on the inside because they are hollow. This is occupied. No. Cooper something. I'm not sure what this is, but I did get this because I have sold smaller ones of this type of figurine with her holding her dress like that. And the green was really pretty. She does have crazy, but I just I liked it. I liked it, so I got it. And again, I got some more of the girls holding their dresses. Because I have sold some, oh, you can't see her, similar ones to this before. This one is Occupied Japan, and so is this one. So these are both made in Occupied Japan. This was made in Occupied Japan, too. I got this because I liked her. I like the green and the flowers on her dress. She kind of has a not well painted face though, but overall, I liked it. Now this couple was really pretty, I thought. Um, it has transfer wear on it, which is coming off in some spots. It says hand painted in Japan, and that is referring to, not the transfer, because there is tra that's all transfer wear the lines of gold on it I believe but I just thought it was a real sweet ah this one I won't be listing though I just realized her head has been broke off usually I'm good about checking that but it was very hard to tell that her head has been broke off hopefully none of the other ones heads have been chopped off I don't think so um so she probably will not think Either what I do when that happens is I will list it for very low and I'll put like read in the title. So I probably will do that with this one just to recoup my money and I'll list it for like five bucks. And hopefully it sells. Um, just to get that money back that I spent on it. But I did spend what, 70 cents on it so it's not like... Okay, this was a Laurel birch little bag the newest tags i paid less than dollar fifty for it and i like picking up this brand because i like the designs Ooh, it's cool on the inside too it has print on the inside i really like the tag look at the tag that's cool so, so got that that should do okay i got this Gazinta? I don't know how you say that. Gazinta? Here. That kind of box. I looked it up and it's kind of like some like magic trick type thing. I don't know. I really don't understand it. But they aren't worth that much. Um, but I was just kind of interested in it. So I grabbed it. I think the ones online were like $9. So. And that one was originally $2. So I paid... 70 cents for it. Okay, let me get a new tub. For stuff. Okay, I did buy this for myself. It's a big bag of pins and highlighters and just everything that you could ever need in your office. Um... I will, that's actually an old one right there. I might grab that one. I will look through here for older pins. 
Because sometimes Impazil, sometimes those do sell pretty well. Rude furnace. Do you hear my furnace whining? Um, and there is some quite older ones. That one's cool. What is that? There's one with a really weird racer. So, like I said, I will look some of these older pins up and pencils, but I mostly just got it because I'm always losing pins. And it was $2 for this whole bag, so 70 cents. And, yeah. Yeah. Got some Uno cards. I always pick up Uno cards if they're old and cheap enough. These are 79 And they should do pretty good. You know, good is like 12 bucks to 15 bucks. So, that's, when I say good on those, that's what I mean. Okay. I did pick up a set of, two sets actually, of Oat to Gary. I think these are Oat to Gary. They have the OMC Japan sticker on them. You see that? Right here? So yeah, I think they're Oat to Gary. I'll double check, but cat, um, they're bookends. I got two sets of them. So that's cool. Maybe that's just something that got stuck on there though. I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure. Um, but they were less than a dollar fifty each, and I have sold the same cat design office supply stuff before for pretty okay moolah. So I thought I'd grab these. And they're wooden and metal. Oh no, Kitty Cucumber's hat. Don't want to lose that. Okay. Let's see. I got this um, picture with a cat on it because it has a cat on it. And it's older. It is Laura Nelson Pottery, England. And really, the only reason I got it, it was a dollar originally. So I paid, what, 35 cents for it, I think. Um, and it had a cat on it. Like, that cat just looks so majestic, I guess. I don't know. He looks cool. He has crazy, no and it does have crazy, though. No. The first, or let's see, these are Kate's. Kaiser, K-A-I-S-E-R, it looks like. Germany, these were pretty cheap. They're little candle things. I think they were a dollar or less. And they were just pretty. I like the flowers. All the flowers look did look good. There is like a small flea bite chip on one of them, it looks like. Um, but other than that, they were in pretty good shape. So I grabbed those. I itches. I'm sorry. My bangs are driving me crazy. They're all wonky and flying everywhere. A couple weeks ago, I got they got really long, and I got sick of them being longer, so I just like chopped them off. You know, usually it takes me like 15, 20 minutes to cut my bangs. I literally did this in two minutes, and they were really crooked, and I just didn't take the time to fix them. So I'm wa waiting for them to grow out just a little bit more before I can fix them. Um, because, yeah, I had cut them too short, and they were really wonky, so they're still kind of wonky, but they're starting to drive me nuts. So I got these SAS, um, sh navy shoes. I got these because I already have these type of shoes listed. These might even, I just listed some, actually, exactly like this last night, just different size. So these will be an easy list. And they were $2 originally, so... 70 cents. Okay, I did get a couple planters. I thought this was a dog, but now I know it's a lion with some shoes on it. Um, so I'll have to look it up to see what it is. He looks very familiar to me, so I don't know if it's a brand that I know and I just not coming to my brain or if it just looks familiar because of, of something I've had before. No clue. But it's a planter. He was $2 originally. This one was like, this one was a little bit expensive. I think it was like five dollars or seven dollars originally, um, or no, it was ten dollars originally. Yeah, that's right. This was ten dollars originally. It is not marked, 
anywhere. I just liked it. It's a planter. So that would have been what? Three three fifty? That's not bad for a planter. Um but he does the cool paint is coming off on this side of the headlight. It's really heavy and I just liked the car planter a lot. How many times can I say like? I just liked it. That's why I pick things up because I like them. And also, you know, when I first started, I looked everything up. And I do recommend looking everything up that you, way that you kind of learn as you go. And now I, I still look some stuff up, but I kind of just have a feeling about things for doing this so long. And since my cost is so low, usually I just go with my gut. And I did that for a very long time too. I used to just go with my gut without looking stuff up. And it didn't always work. So it took me a long time to kind of figure out what I like to sell and what would sell. And my price point I was willing, like what my lowest price point would be. And you know, all that jazz that you have to figure out. And my price point is a lot lower than most. Like I don't mind selling things for 10 to $15 if I can get it cheap. That's not, it doesn't take me long to list stuff. So once everything else is done, the thing that takes the longest is cleaning everything and photographs for me. So once that's all done though, it don't take me long to list it and I just, I don't mind doing that. Some people don't like selling things that are less than $15 and I totally get that. But that's just not me. So you have to decide and figure that out and do all that work for yourself to get, you know, gut feelings, I guess. I don't know. People are just really good at uh, picking. So this is a Invoca 3.0 thing. I don't know what it is at all. It was two dollars, and they had it as a phone, but it is not a phone. So I don't know. It intrigued me, so I thought I would get it and look it up later. I kind of just had fun with that day and just got what I wanted to get. Um, this is, these two are, I wish, um, I would have got more of these, but I didn't. These are Poppy and Celestine. These are Woodland, Wood Mouse Family. These don't sell for very much, like 10 bucks each, but they're originally $4, so that would have been, what, forty for them. I should have got all of them, but I didn't. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping this um, sale has another like 75% off sale because that's what they did last time when they had a big sale like this but they're really cute little mouse she's no it's her no, it's, it kind of looked like it was chips but it's just white figurines and little wedding dress so I just got a couple of them to test them and they do have little cards with them and then I got this cute little mouse as well thing as well this was mousekins also, this one was also $1.40. Just something to try out. I'd never seen them before. I will use a lot of keywords for these, not just the name. Then I got City Square Motor in Vintage Ashtray. I liked the graphic, the guy with the top hat, red. You know, really clear glass. It was in really good shape, so I grabbed it. I do okay with ashtray sometimes. Okay, I caught a lot of miniatures. This, one of the persons that was the estate sale was for uh, was a avid dollhouse collector, I believe. There was dollhouses everywhere. Dollhouse furniture everywhere, which they were really pricey. So I didn't get those or anything like that, but they had tons of miniature stuff. Not all of it was just dollhouse. This person had to collect stuff to use for dollhouses. And so, yeah, I got quite a bit. The first thing I'm going to show you is not Dollhouse, though. After talking about it, I'm not showing you that. Um, first, it's just this bag of, like, magnets. And I liked it because of this. I like this magnet. So I grabbed it. Um, yeah. Except it's broke, so that sucks. That's not worth anything. I might keep it for myself. Dang it, I've actually sold this Akeem Magnets little things like this before. It was 
you know, 35 cents for the whole bag. There's something else kind of cool in here, so. A bush gardens magnet. That might be worth something with a koala bear on it. Oh my gosh. Drop number two. And an island magnet. Nothing worth worth much, that's for sure. And a cute little be mine. Okay, well that was a waste of 35 cents, but that's okay. Let's get to the fun stuff. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one of these miniatures because we would be here for hours if I did that. So, I'm just going to kind of show you them. Um, maybe take one out of the package. So, these were each 50 cents. So, less. this one was 50 cents. Less than 25 cents for these bad boys. And the little goose ones. Now, these are probably like plastic. People like miniature things. I sell a lot of miniature stuff, so each one of these, except these probably, some of them are in sets, I will sell those in sets, but a lot of the stuff's going to be sold individually. These are little baby and mama lamb and sheep. They're adorable. Look how cute they are. I will sell these together. And a lot of this stuff, though, a lot of it I found was vintage. So, yeah. These are Japan, and this I will sell together. It was originally $2, so a dollar or 70 cents for them. And it's like a tea set. Sugar, creamer, and plates. So I will sell this together. Vintage, though, Japan. These are Japan wolves. See the wolf? I will sell these separately most of them. I don't know. These I'm going to have a hard time deciding when I sell them separately or I'll probably sell these together because they're the exact same style. And then we got, these are adorable. These adorable glass chickens. There's three of them. And they're all different. So, they were less than 20, they were 25 cents. 65% off, 25 cents. I just, I couldn't not get these. These are like one of my favorite things to sell. This is a mama and baby little dog. And then I got bags of stuff. These is a whole bag of dogs. Just a whole bag of them. Japan dogs. Vintage, all different kinds of little tiny like bulldogs. Or, I don't know what they are. Terriers, maybe. All different ones. Whole bag for a dollar. So, whole bag for 35 cents. You betcha I'm going to get that. And then I got, like, all these little miniature pictures and stuff. Um, I'm not going to take these out because that would be forever. But you can kind of see these are, like, teapots, baskets. All kinds of tiny, tiny stuff. And... There might be, I just had somebody ask me not very long ago if I had a miniature face because they needed one less than an inch, which there might be one in there, I don't know. So look at this, all these little miniature cups and saucers and bowls and pictures. This is cool. I like this little Kansas pitcher. Glass pictures. And if this was like newer stuff, I probably wouldn't have got it. But this was pretty. This is not very well done, but the swan. Pretty, pretty cool. What's this? This is cool. It's a vase with a lady. Made in Japan. So anyways, lots of little bits and pieces. That, a lot of these are going to be single listings. So it's going to take me some time to do all this, but it will be worth it in the end. And it was fun to look through them. I wish I, I there had tons of them. I should have just got all of it. But I didn't because this isn't like this. Almost all these are going to be single listings. So this is going to take me some time to actually do. Okay, the last piece I want to show you or that I have from this haul. Trying not to drop anything off is I got this these large 
paper dolls. See how or they're pretty good size. And they are bought they're Molly, Mother, Daddy. I don't know. I don't even know who family of paper dolls is what they are. Queen Holden. Didn't look these up. They were less than three dollars, so I thought I'd just grab them and give them a go. So I got that. That's the last item I'm going to show you today. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Tell me what your favorite item was down below. I don't know what my favorite item was. I had a lot of favorites in this one. Um, probably the planters. I liked the planters. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the planters. Tell me what yours was down below in the comment section. If you like reseller content and would like to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.